Good morning, guys. <clears throat> I should really clear my throat every before I actually start doing this. All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, it's over the top, obviously. Chris here, of course. A uh, couple of things. The video yesterday, or the last video I uploaded, there was a coin found. I couldn't find any details off it. I looked. I I cleaned it up. I couldn't. I couldn't make out all the details. It is definitely a coin of some sort. I mean, it's definitely copper. It was found in southern central Ontario. But it's, it looks like it's hammered. But it just, it just seems weird that there's a hammered coin found here in southern Ontario. Anyway, uh, make sure you check that video out. I will leave a link up top and down below. If you guys can uh, just go watch that and, and see if you can, uh, especially towards the end, I give better close-ups for it. Let me know if you have any idea what that could be. That would be awesome because I really like to know what that is. Anyway, uh, the other thing, uh, update, I used the new camera for that video. Uh, that'll be the last video I shoot with that camera. Garbage, absolutely garbage. Supposed to be high def, but it was the grainiest image I think I've ever seen. So that's out. So right now I'm back at the Olympus until I can get another one. Uh, so I'm at uh, back in Beaton. I think I don't know if you remember the fairgrounds. If you go back to my other videos, I had detected here on a couple of occasions anyway. Uh, I did find some silvers up at the arena on the uh, far side of that. And uh, that was pretty cool. But now where I am, I'm at the other end of this park. And there's a path and ball diamond here, which you can see behind me. Uh, I'm going to detect this area and there's a wooded area right here and a pathway that goes up here and back in that direction There is a big open field according to Google Maps So I think I can get access to that through this forest. There's trails through there and I might give go give that a whirl uh, I don't think I've given this park a real good shakedown yet because I know last time I was here I spent most of my time down at the other end and my Garrett was acting up it was just a rough day on all, so I didn't really give it a fair shakedown to see if I can find any silver. So I'll try that today. Hopefully that works out. Uh, I think that's it for now. Uh, anything else I'll just bring up as I go. Uh, see you at the next hole, or at least the first hole. I've actually dug a few, so it wouldn't be the first. I got here and it was dark. I was wearing my headlight, and I did some digging there. And I uh, haven't really come up with anything other than some modern pennies. Okay, I'll see you very, very soon. Boom. <laughs> so I uh, pulled my carrot stick out and I was uh, just cleaning the mud off it with my knife and I was sitting there going like this and I'm like now I know why they're called carrot sticks I feel like I'm peeling a carrot <laughs> oh guys I don't know why I find some things just so funny <laughs> anyway I'll see you shortly. Let's see what we got here. It, uh, that penny signal so we know what we probably have <laughs> well silver quote penny signal so maybe in these woods here maybe they're a little probably a little older might be able to get something uh, silver or large sense Anything old. <laughs> Where's this thing hiding? Oh. Pop top. Hey, it wasn't a penny. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. Hey guys, uh, 
I haven't been getting much digging done. My batteries died up and beaten. I had to go get batteries. I stopped at Walmart. I had a bite to eat. I'm just not getting anywhere. So I came up to Alliston and I'm doing it along a river bank. And uh, I'm in an area where I haven't done before. And I just dug a hole. I think it's like my second hole since I got here. And check this out. It's a 1964 silver quarter. Hopefully it cleans up nice. She's pretty rough for, I think it's the roughest silver I've ever pulled out of the ground. It's not really rough, it's just uh, really stained up pretty nasty. I guess the sandy soil has taken the toll on it over the years, but that's pretty cool. It looks like a 64 anyway. Yeah, so anyway, that's cool. First silver in, uh, I'm gonna keep going now. I never, that's the first time along these banks I've ever nailed a silver. That's pretty cool, it'll be my second hole. I hope that's not it for the day. Oh, I hit the camera. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. Uh, I'm not uh, sure what I have here. It's kind of deep, but uh, it's, so it's kind of bouncing around a little bit. So I'm, I, the location I'm at and being deep seems like a good thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. It is bouncing around at the right numbers. So let's have a look. It's raining about six inches. Must have it. Yeah. Ooh, looks like it right on the bottom. That's a good sign. Oh, it looks like it's just a penny, guys. And I don't even think it's that old. Jeez, 1984, that deep. Crazy. Oh, just another penny. Let's move on. Let's see if we can get something better. All right, I got another good signal here. It's uh, 1244, buzzing right along. Let's get into this hole. Let's see what this one is. This ground seems a little harder, and it's only reading about three inches. So, uh, hope we get it. Probably a penny, though. We all know that. <laughs> we all know what it's going to be. It's when I don't have the camera on, I get the freaking silvers. <laughs> Oh, it's a penny. And it's a stinking Lincoln. Alrighty, well, it's worth a shot. <laughs> let's go get something else. Alright, let's do it. Got the uh, emergency helicopter coming in here to the hospital. Let's see if we can get a good view of it. Hopefully while I'm detecting, I can get it while it's taking off. That'd be pretty cool. Hope everyone's gonna be all right.
Lindsay on the hunt. All right, guys, this is probably going to be my last uh, hole here. Uh, it's getting kind of late. The sun's setting. Uh, I haven't really found much, just that one silver coin. I can't believe I got it right off the bat, and then that was it. Uh, I found, like, a little uh, woman's watch. That was about it. Uh, so, anyway, that's it. I'll also do my wrap-up here. I'll wait till I dig this. Let's find out what it is. About five inches. <laughs> the good old penny signal. But this one's deeper than normal. Well, normal for here, anyway. And nothing, of course. Oh, man. Oh, there it is. Is it? Ah. Well, I don't know about you, but that was not five inches. <laughs> uh, I don't even think it's old. Yeah, I think it's pretty modern. Yeah, 1987. All right, guys, thanks again for being here. Remember to head down, hit subscribe, and hopefully next time we'll get more than one silver, but hey, one silver is better than nothing been a long day for me my legs are killing me <laughs> I've been walking on these hills all day long on angles oh my knees just ready to give all right guys take care and always you guys are awesome stay positive you'll find stuff too see you later all right guys this is try number three to shoot this video every time <laughs> Every time I try to shoot it, the other camera keeps shutting off halfway through. I don't know why it's doing that. There's probably has some setting on it. Anyway, I got the other camera here and we'll give it a whirl. So what I want to do today is just talk about plugs. Uh, how to do them, how you should do them, you know, what way you should do it depending on where you are, that kind of stuff. But uh, for starters, I want to just, uh, let's talk shovels. Now, if you're going to do a lot of detecting, I'd recommend you get a purpose-built shovel. It's going to save you time, aggravation, back, knees, you name it. <laughs> this thing, it's dull now. I haven't sharpened it and uh, goes through rocks and everything. But it's still, if I hit one of these corners, I'll cut myself. And I've had this for a couple of years now. Uh, these serrated edges, if you can see them there, they knew these things cut through roots that were over an inch in diameter like they were butter. Uh, now I'm looking about quarter inch just because it's dull, but it still cuts through them. It's, it's fantastic. This one's made by Predator Tools. I'll leave a link down below in the description. I saw another one the other day on Facebook, uh, Grave Digger Shovels. Uh, I'd still like to give one of those a try one day, uh, but uh, right now I'm, I'm using this one because that's what I have. But uh, anyway, we'll start off with how I do my plugs. I prefer, sorry, I prefer bigger plugs uh, it's better for the grass in the long run uh, it's not going to die off you're not going to disrupt the root ball as much so your, your chances of the grass coming recovering is going to be much 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 better than smaller tiny little plugs a lot of guys will use the small little shovels to get the tiny little plugs first first of all you've disrupted too much of that root ball and that little spot's probably not gonna last or it's gonna take a lot longer to recover. Uh, depend, but if that's what the homeowner wants, then, then by all means do it. I don't, I'm not saying there's anything too wrong with it. I just don't find it as good with the grass. If, if I'm getting permission, I'll explain to the homeowner why I think this is the better option. It, I'll explain it right off the bat. It's gonna look nasty because I'm taking this big chunk out of your lawn, but when I'm done, it's gonna be a much better result. Anyway, I'll, let me uh, just go on. So what I'll do, I just do three holes, like three slices. I'll do one, to give it a little rock, get my shovel out. Two, same thing. That kind of breaks the plug. 
And then number three, there's a rock there. Anyway, now it's gonna be hard to see this. Let's move you over here. All right, you can see. So now basically, when I pull or, or lift my plug, at the last, as it, as it cracks, I'm gonna twist my shovel and lift. What that does is it slices the back here. So it gives you that nice clean plug. And again, I'm keeping that main root attached, that ball on that one edge. So now, once you're in the hole, you're gonna obviously find your target. I think I had something in this target. First video I did, I didn't get one with it. Okay, good, it might be in the one half. Oh, it's in the top. Anyway, so the first thing you're gonna do is break your item out, whatever. That's what I thought it was. So in this case, it's a bottle top and a penny. That's why it rang good. Right underneath the bottle cap. And it's an American stinking Lincoln. All right. So now you've got your plug open. I, I got to see what that is before I close this up. <laughs> kind of a slash tutorial live dig. <laughs> Now, say it, your thing's in this half and you get into it and you know, you've got this half all torn down. You got your item, we'll just put this back in here for looks. So now you've got this real odd plug shape. Now what you're not gonna wanna do is try to close that plug with your dirt all like this on the bottom. When you close that, you're gonna have trouble seating that plug down and it's gonna stick up and look messy. You don't want, you don't want that look. That doesn't work. So either just take this and put it on this side. So kind of opposite of what this is like Tetris. And then when you close it, you're gonna get a nice seated plug. See, it's already seated well and I haven't tapped it or done anything. Or a much easier way is just take it down that it's all even even at your bot, your hole that you're going to put it in, it takes a seconds and just close it up. Take your dirt on the outside, stick it underneath or spread it out. I always give a good little wipe around the hole just to make sure that there's, you know, all the dirt settles down inside the grass. You don't see it. So that's what I'm going to do now, give it a good pat, close up my edges. I might have to bang where I bent, dug the, sh like pry the shovel and get that edge back in so it's nice and neat. And when I'm done, the most important thing is stomp on it. Get that down, that, get those roots back down into the dirt. Uh, I mean, like when you plant uh, grass or, or sod on your property or wherever, you're going to roll it when you're done. That what that does is gets rid of those air pockets underneath and gives that good adhesion to the dirt below so the roots can recover faster. A very important step that a lot of people just close it and walk away. Step on it, give it that stomp, get those air pockets out of there. Now, I've seen people do this, like new people in the hobby. I, I realize that a lot of you guys know what you're doing, so this doesn't apply to you, but for all the new guys out there, plug maintenance is the utmost importance as a digger. Always, always, always fill in your holes. Make a neat job. Because the last thing we need is them to come down on us, detector us, and tell us not we can't dig places anymore. We gotta keep the hobby strong and I'll let people back on their properties. If you leave a mess of their lawn, they're not gonna let anyone back again. If you do a nice clean job, they're like, oh yeah, you guys didn't do anything about my lawn. Come on back. Perfect. Anyway, I've seen people take their shovels and just go underneath and scrape the top grass off. And then they gotta dig down. First of all, you're just scraping the roots off and you just killed all the grass. It's not gonna come back very quick at all. It'll probably take a whole year to come back. Don't do that, do not do that. Do your three, get in, get out. Get your hole dug, get your stuff, get out. Don't mess with it too much, you're gonna make it look worse. That's very important. Don't 
Like sometimes you might have to tear the grass, but keep track of your grass pump to put it back in the top where it needs to go. I'm not all the time you're gonna have you know be perfect where it's gonna be as simple as this. Sometimes you gotta tear the grass. You have to do it sometimes to get it out. But anyway, I hope you know I hope that helps you guys. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm not an expert by any means, but this is what I find works best for me. And I'll come back to my sites days later and my plugs look fantastic. I've been out with other guys and gone back and I've seen their plugs are a complete mess. Grass is dead and mine are fine. So I find this works. I explain to any permission owners why this is better for their lawn. I explain everything that I just explained to you. So anyway, that's my opinion. It's quick. It's fast. You can get more holes dug in a day. That's the key is speed, especially in this hobby. Because you're going to have to dig a lot of stuff before you'll find something good, even with the best of detectors. A lot of items, rings, ring aluminum all the time. Uh, gold, I'm sorry, gold will be aluminum. Silver, pennies, all the same. All the same range, at least here in Canada. But anyway guys, I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you like this kind of video. Leave your comments down below if you agree, disagree, what you think I should be doing, what I missed. Let me know. Alright guys. Thanks a lot. You guys have an awesome day. Stay positive. You guys will find good things. See you all later.